Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Homeless Reptiles and we are about to vend our first show in a very, very, very long time. I got Caleb with me, of course Kurt's on camera, make sure you hit like, subscribe, all that crap you're supposed to do. Uh, why has it been so long? It's because of Patreon. Most of our animals sell right on Patreon and they go there first. We just, we just haven't had the stock to take to a show, uh, which is a really good problem for us to have, but we finally do have the stock. We're producing more than Patreon's gonna buy. And this is gonna start being a pretty routine thing for us. So we're here today in Lincoln, Nebraska at the Show Me Reptile Show. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna kinda show you, when you first get to one of these, how it looks. This is people all just setting up right now, as you can see. Uh, there's still a lot of people haven't shown up yet for tables. We'll get here, we just showed up. Get kind of a table like this, and you gotta make these things pretty first thing. So uh, always, always, always bring a tablecloth. There are a few shows that will provide these for you, but they're gonna be just generic colors. This is a really good investment, I think, to just make everything stand out. One of the smartest things I did was I had a top that's a different color. Look how quick that sets up, because you can just line that top up and it's made to go perfect fit on that table a little bit your way. So like, just like that. And that should center up everything for us in the middle of Olympus Reptiles. Did it do a good job with it, Kurt? He says it did. All right, we're gonna start setting snakes here. We'll show you the, how it sets up at the end, and then we're gonna do a little filming throughout. We're gonna try to do a few other videos here if possible, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes, guys. So we'll see you in just a few moments. So we are back, we have our full setup. We usually have music playing. We had to turn it off to film the segment of video. Believe it or not, if we leave the music running, YouTube will get on to us for copyright. So can't in the background. Uh, so here's how it's gonna kinda always look when we're doing one table. We should bring two displays. We like to uh, self-promote, so we'll run some of our videos in the mid middle uh, with the sound off. That's just to kinda like, maybe get people to remember us, I don't know. So we can maybe get a sale out of it. We've got some t-shirt swag. We need to sell some of those. We need to get rid of some of those sides so we can order a bunch more for y'all. Uh, and this is it. We got a, our full snakes up. Two are already missing. Here's a little note. Uh, actually, those sold before the show. We were supposed to have a few more boas, but Kurt got three boas sold before we came. Uh, they were scheduled to be here. They were gone, so we just wrote sold in their tubs early really and called it good. I'd rather write sold and leave it empty. So it looks like we sold something, which we did just a day before the show. So. Uh, Caleb, this is your first time ever vending at a show. What do you think so far of the setup? Yeah, I like it. It's very clean, very like organized, not like cluttered. Huh. You know, I like the, it really pops with the background on this. I really like it. One thing I'll always tell you guys when you're, when you're doing this is clean and organized is good. This is how we set up for one table. If we were going to do two tables, we would still have some spacing and four displays. Uh, the one thing we're really missing here is lighting. We could not, for the love of God, you remember we haven't done a show in like four or five years, so I could not find my lights anywhere. They go, I'm about to get some more, but typically I would like some bright light shining down on these just to highlight them a little bit more. We're gonna live without it, rely on our salesmanship today, uh, hopefully move some of these animals out of here. Uh, part of it is pricing is pretty good. We're, I bet we're probably one of the lower ones. That's because this is all stuff that we want to get rid of because it didn't sell on Patreon. So it needs a new home and it needs to go. Um, all right, we will update you guys after the show. Probably get a little filming in during the show. Kurt, any questions before we end this segment? No. All right, stick with us and you guys can find out exactly how we did today at the show. We'll tell you how many animals we brought because there's actually more than you see and how many we left with and kind of how it went. All right, guys, we'll be back. Well, it'll be like nine hours for us, actually longer, but it'll be a lot less for you. All right, guys, so as you can see, everybody's packing up. The show is ending. So how did it go for us for our first show in five years? It went uh, pretty good. I mean, this isn't a huge show. This is not gonna be the busiest show, but we had a pretty good customer flow in here. A decent number of vendors. It was pretty well, I'd say, steady all day. If you look, we have a lot of things to say sold on it, so we did pretty good. I am still, so, uh, there's always something to surprise you. Like, I'm surprised I still have this. I'm also surprised I still have this GHI Fire. Those two things surprised me a lot, but uh, we got rid of all of our normals. We sold you know everything up there, all the big ones up there. I think we sold like about seven price snakes and about 11 normals is what we brought. So about 18 snakes total. Uh, all in all, whenever you come to a show, what I would suggest is run the cost, what you think is going to cost you for food, gas, table fees, everything else. Okay. Have that in mind. Know that number. Know what number you need to sell beyond that to you, for you to feel like, okay, we had a good show. Like this is an acceptable show. This is my minimum acceptability that I want to hit. 
have another number above that we're like okay that's good like that's where i really want to get everything above that's gravy uh, i would say we i know we passed we haven't done all the math yet we passed the first number we're really close to the second number i don't know if we quite hit it or not but we're going to be right there kurt shaking his head that we hit it so we, we had a great show then we hit that second number we didn't go like well above it we were right on the edge but that makes for a great show it's kind of what we wanted we do plan on doing more of these. We're going to be dropping a list really soon. If we haven't already, by the time you see this on Patreon, have some more leftovers to fill this up and get to ourselves to the very next show to sell even more. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.